Here's a video I've actually had in the works for a while now. Uh, Project Appleseed. It's a marksmanship training course my wife and I took earlier this year. Uh, run through the Revolutionary War Veterans Association to teach shooting fundamentals, some history about the Revolutionary War. It's focused on accuracy and shooting from different uh, shooting or firing positions. Uh, I wouldn't call this an endorsed video, but just kind of my experience with it, and I was rather impressed. Uh, things to bring. Uh, full list is down at the link at the bottom, but make sure you have a teachable attitude. Ear and eye protection, of course, is a must. A shooting mat. GI style web sling for your rifle, preferably with a 25 yard zero, 400 rounds, and a couple of magazines. They go through the range rules and the four steps for clearing on the first day, but just kind of as a heads up, you can pause here in the video to read through a lot of the, the text parts on here. And then they start everybody on a red coat target, uh, 13 rounds, one for each colony, and then progressively smaller targets with a 100, 200, 300, 400, and then the Murphy square. And they really just have everybody on the first morning get down in the prone position, wherever they're comfortable, kind of see where everybody's at. Uh, we actually had my wife do this first because women shoot for 10 bucks uh, and kids shoot for 5 bucks. But my daughter's not quite ready for that, this kind of level of training. It's a ton of information. We actually had about 10 shooters at this particular shoot. And uh, as they tell you, it's like... Uh, drinking from a fire hose. They go into the six steps of rifleman shooting for sight alignment, sight picture, respiratory pause, focusing on the front sight, squeezing the trigger, and then follow through. Uh, again, you can pause as needed. Here's sight alignment and sight picture. And they go into a lot of details, finding natural point of aim, um, rifleman's cadence. They have everybody, you know, double check your zero. You know, once you're comfortable, you, you're done with that portion. They have uh, everybody shoot some green meanies, which are basically just an alternate version of the red coat, just doesn't have the Murphy square on there. They go through the various shooting positions you'll need for the AQT, which I'll show here shortly, starting with standing, and then it's kneeling or sitting. So they kind of go through the fundamentals of, of both. And I, I, you can kind of choose which one you like. I actually prefer the one where I sit, like Marines do, where they stick your legs straight out in front of you. I, I'm just long and lanky and uh, can't really fold myself up well into a cross-legged shooting position. Then we get into some AQTs in the afternoon. Uh, Army qualification target. You can see progressively smaller targets. Those are 30-06 rounds down at the bottom. Uh, one 100, two 200s, three 300s, and four 400-yard targets, and each with a different shooting uh, position. So the first round is the 100-yard target, one 10-round magazine standing the whole time. You have two minutes to put 10 rounds into the one 100-yard target. And during the course, you know, they'll, they'll help you, especially for newer shooters, um, you know, how to rest, make sure you don't dismount the rifle from your shoulder and then you have to start all over. If you just lean forward, you can rest and then bring it right back up and just get your, you know, sight, sight alignment, sight picture on the target. Second round is you know, the two 200-yard targets, two magazines, one of two and one of eight rounds. You have 55 seconds. And this one, you start standing and then go ready to a right. seated or kneeling position. Ready on the left. All ready on the firing line. Fire! I kind of left this part in here with the audio, too, even though the wind was picking up. You know, My wife wasn't quite sure about all the yelling, uh, but you figure the wind was picking up. We got 10 shooters on the line, and I've, some of these I've heard they can have up to 50 or 60 shooters, depending you know, on where it's at. Uh, I was in the Army, so I'm kind of used to the yelling, just to kind of set the right expectations. So the third round is uh, the three 300-yard targets. You start standing and go to prone. Again, you have two magazines, two and eight, and 65 seconds to get this one accomplished in. And the wind was just getting crazy, so in some of the videos, I just simply had to take the audio out. So this is the third round. Start standing again, and then get down into a good prone supported position. And the last round is actually the four 400-yard targets down at the bottom of the target. So you can do the count two, two, three, and three, and the target and the Previous targets actually had the round counts on there, too, because there's a mag change on these. So this one, you actually don't. You have one 10-round magazine. You start prone, you stay prone, and you got five minutes. And you just take your time, make it count, because the bottom row, the points are actually doubled in the total score. So then you get there for the second day, and you can choose to only shoot on the second day. They do some ball and dummy drills, kind of go over everything that's been covered so far. And start shooting AQTs. And to, if you can get 210 points out of a possible 250, you can get a rifleman's patch like I just showed you there. 
and just a good review of what I consider of an excellent course in shooting. Thank you for watching.